Hi, 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 hi. So today I am going to be testing your reactions. I'm going to be testing your coordination, problem solving capabilities, as well as your attention span. So today's video was inspired by a commenter actually on an older video of mine. Uh, their tag was Cfel, I believe, C-F-E-L. So huge shout out to you for giving me this idea. I do read all of my comments, I, at least I try to. So whenever you guys try to request different videos, I always do my best to provide those videos for you guys. And I just thought this was a super interesting concept. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with it. And I'm gonna try my best to kind of mix it up for us here today, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start out with your reactions. So I have this popsicle stick here and we're gonna start out super, super easy. And all I would like you to do is just let me know whenever you see this popsicle stick pop into your field of vision, okay? Just verbally or in your head as quick as you can say something indicating that this has now appeared. Very good. You can look at it, look straight, whatever you wanna do. Excellent, okay. And now what I'm gonna do with this popsicle stick is the same exact thing, but you're gonna tell me from which direction the popsicle stick comes in from. So right, left, top, or bottom, okay? Good, and all by yourself, ready? Excellent. Okay, let's go ahead and move on. I do have this little hammer here and I just want to see if I can't just tap on your knees and check your reaction here. Good. Good. And again. Okay, and one more. Good. Okay, the majority of the triggers are going to be visual based, but some I like to include, you know, little role play elements. All right. So now I'm going to test your reactions with some different objects that I have here. Okay. So I'm going to show you all of them first and let you know what we're doing. So these are all little pencil tips here. And what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be flashing these along the screen. And I'd like you to tell me as quickly as you can, which object you see appear on the screen. And I'm going to try to do this pretty fast. Okay. So you can give these objects nicknames, whatever you want to call them, in order to differentiate them, okay? So we have a yellow dinosaur, we have a strawberry, a blue dinosaur, a pineapple, and we have this little penguin who is Pepe Jr., okay? Let's see. So if you are ready, I am just going to get myself all set up. <laughs> all right, okay. Just go ahead and look straight if you'd like to, or you can look at the objects here, okay? I'll be getting a little bit faster as time goes on. Good. Doing pretty well so far. Slacken just a little bit. Okay, just hold out a little bit longer. <laughs> Very good. Very 
good, okay. I do need to crack my knuckles after that, so if you don't like this sound, let's see if I can even... <sighs> Wasn't as many as I wanted, okay. So now we're gonna move on to your coordination. I'm gonna go ahead and test your coordination, okay? So the first test I have here today is this tube here and a bit of a light situation going on, okay? So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is place this tube at the front of your vision, okay? And what I would like you to do is go ahead and trace the tube going clockwise and counterclockwise. Okay, so trace it going counterclockwise just all by yourself. Okay, now go counterclockwise, clockwise, counter, and clockwise. Okay, now you can go ahead and stop. We're going to continue to do that, except this time I would like you to tell me whenever the light appears in your vision as you're focusing on moving your eyes in a counter or clockwise fashion, okay? All right, putting this back. Let's try this out, okay? Go ahead and start by going clockwise and let me know whenever you see the light, okay? Keep following it clockwise. Good, and go counterclockwise. Keep letting me know when you see the light. Okay, and counterclockwise, clockwise. Look at my nose. Keep letting me know about the light. Follow it going counterclockwise. Okay, go ahead and look straight. I wanna see if I'm now able to add an additional instruction to this. So if you remember our first test where we did uh, left, right, top, or bottom with the popsicle stick, I want to see if you're able to do that, but with the light and still tracing it going counterclockwise or clockwise. Let's see how this goes. All right, I'm going to place this here. Go ahead and look straight for now. Just look at my nose for now and let me know which direction the light comes from. The right, good. Okay, now can you follow the outline of the circle going clockwise and continue to let me know which direction the light is coming from. Good, go counterclockwise, clockwise, Counter, clockwise, look straight ahead, go counterclockwise, clockwise, and look straight ahead. Very good. Very good. How did you hold out with that? <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of distractions. I'm going to try to anyways. I'm going to go ahead and ask you to look at my fingers and try to distract you with my hand here. Just continue to look at my fingers, okay, look at my fingers, whichever ones are just still and not moving, very, very good, very, very good, keep looking at these, okay, good, look at these, good, and these, and these, and these, Very nice, very nice. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and get another test out here. I have these blocks here, 
and I'm going to be checking for any double vision, okay, and your near and farsighted vision as well, okay? This is going to help me test out your coordination. So, what I'd like you to do is go ahead and look at the block furthest away from you. Good, again. Good, and again. Good, and again. Good. Did the colors swap sides at all? Did the colors change sides at all during that? Or was orange always on the right or left? The colors swapped one time during that. All right. Now, go ahead and look at the one that is closest to you. Good. Again. Good. And <laughs> again. Good, and again. Okay, and did the colors swap sides at all? I tried to swap them, but I dropped it, so. <laughs> all right, now go ahead and do the same thing. Don't worry about the colors here. Look at the one in the back, furthest from you, and report any double vision. Good, we'll do it again. Go ahead and look at the one in the back and report any double vision. Good, okay. Look at the yellow. Okay, look at the orange. Good. Very nice. We're going to go ahead and move on to some problem solving here now. Go ahead and give me one moment. All right. What I'd like you to do is I have these dice here. Okay. And what I would like you to do is go ahead and add these two numbers. Add them together. Subtract them. Add them. Add them. Add them, add them, subtract them, add them, subtract them, add them, add them, subtract them, subtract them, multiply them, multiply them. Add them, add them, subtract them, subtract them, multiply them, subtract them, multiply them, subtract, and add. Very good. Okay, something very similar. Look at my nose. Tell me how many fingers I'm holding up and add them, and add them, and add them, and add them, add them, subtract them, subtract them, subtract them, add them. All right, let's see. So this is still with problem solving. So I'm going to go ahead and ask you just a couple of questions here, okay? They're off to my side, so uh, let's see. So tell me something that is easy to lift but hard to throw. A feather. Okay, and tell me which fish costs the most. A goldfish. And tell me something that goes up but does not go down. A 
age. Age goes up but does not go down. Let's see. Now something a little bit goofier. What would bears be without a bee? Ears. Okay, and very last one. Can you tell me why do cows wear bells? Because their horns don't work. I thought that was funny. Okay, now can you go ahead and tell me how many dots you see? Good. How many dots do you see? How many dots do you see? Very good. Okay. How many groups of three do you see? Excellent. How many groups of four do you see? Very good. And how many groups of five do you see? Very good. Very, very good. You're doing a great job. All right, we're on to our very last portion of this video, which is going to be testing your attention span, which is something that I do on this channel quite often, to be honest. So we're going to go ahead and kick off with our uh, light trigger here, our nose finger light. So can you go ahead and look at my nose and the light and my fingers and the wall and my nose and the light and my fingers and the light and the wall and my fingers and my nose and my eyes and this side of the wall and my fingers and the light and my nose and the light and my fingers and my eyes and my fingers and my eyes and my fingers and my eyes and look at the wall look at the light look at my fingers look at my nose look at my eyes look at my mouth look at my neck look at my fingers look at the wall look at the other side of the wall look at the light Look at my fingers, look at my nose, look at my eyes, look at the light, look at my nose, look at my mouth, look at my fingers, look at the wall, look at the other side of the wall. Good. Can you look at my fingers? Okay. And can you look at the light and my nose, look at my eyes, look at my fingers, look at my nose. Very, very good. Okay. Now, can you go ahead and look at the blue? Look at the blue. The sky is blue. And we're going to call this one, I, I suppose, orange. Okay, so look at the blue. Look at the blue. Look at the blue. Look at the blue. Good. Look at the orange. Look at the orange. Look at the orange. Good. Look at the blue. Look at the blue. Look at the blue. Look at the orange. Look at the orange. Orange and the blue. Look at the orange. Look at the orange. Blue. Look at my nose. Look at the blue. Look at my nose. Look at the orange. Look at the blue. Look at my nose. Look at the blue. Look at my nose. Look at the blue. Look at the orange. Look at my nose. Look at the blue. Look at my nose. Look at the orange. Look at the orange. Look at the Blue, look at my nose, look at the wall, look at the other side of the wall, look at my nose, look at my eyes, look at my teeth, look at the orange, look at the blue, look at the wall, look at my nose, look at my eyes, look at my nose, look at my eyes, look at the blue. for us here today. This is corner one, corner two, corner three, corner four. This is number one, number two. Look at number one. Good. Okay. Look at corner one, corner three, 
corner four. Look at number two. Look at my nose. Good, look at my eyes. Look at corner two. Corner one. Look up, look up, look up, look up. Look down, look down, look down. Look at number one. Look at number two. Look at number one. Look at number two. Look to the right. Look to the right. Look to the right. Look to the left. Look to the left. Hello. Look up. Look up. Look up. Good. Look down. Look down. Look down. Look to the left. Look at number one. Look at number two. Look at corner three. Corner four. Good. Look at my nose. Are you able to keep up? Can you look at corner one? Corner two? Corner three? Corner four? Look at number two. Look at corner one. Look at number one. Look at corner two. Look to the left. Look to the right. Look at my nose. Good. Now, you pass this part if and only if you paid attention to me the entire time. You didn't check the comments. You didn't look around. <laughs> you didn't swipe out of the video at all to respond to a text or to get lost in your thoughts. Alright, that is going to conclude today's video. Once again, huge shout out to everybody in my comments that suggests any sort of new videos that you guys want to see or even just requesting old videos that I haven't done in a long time. I absolutely love reading everybody's requests and everybody's nice comments. You guys are super, super supportive and I am forever grateful for each and every one of you. So once again, huge shout out to Cfel, C-F-E-L. <laughs> Thanks again so much for such an awesome video request. So that is going to conclude today's video. Let me know how you liked this style of video. I'm happy to continue doing it and maybe find some more interesting triggers for it, but we'll see. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you soon. Okay.